Welcome back to Asiago Academy. Asi- <laughs> Fuck! You're <laughs> fucking me! I know how to pronounce it! Ha! Asiago Academy. Ha! So, we left you with the tantalizing cliffhanger oh, of tantalizing. whether or not to lie about Jared and whether or not we know him. Because he went to Jared's. It's, I guess so. We, we know, like, two people on campus, so. She got it at Jared. <laughs> a girl look, the girl looked me up and down as if she were inspecting a piece of furniture for purchase. Bitch, don't buy me. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, did I? I'm Mimi. Of course her fucking name is Mimi. Nice to meet you. So, how did you meet Jared? Okay, a moment to mention that Maya is still, like, starstruck. Oh, come off it, Mimi. Jared's not interested. Maya and Mimi stared at each other for a few seconds, having some kind of silent mental battle. And then, Mimi turned away and continued to eat. Sorry, it was clear that she was just trying to get in with you for her own agenda, so I cut her off. Thank you, Mai. And also, just cut her next time. Get with me? Why? Well, you asked me about those guys in their jackets, right? Those are their normal boots, club jackets. They're... what? What's normal boots club? It's so fucking anime. Look at them all! It's a club we have at school here. It's like totally exclusive and full of only the coolest students. They get together and play video games. Or something. Wait, so they're cool. That one right there is John. Also known as John Tron. His bird's name is Jacket. Jacques. 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 Is this Jacques? I almost said Jacques. <laughs> Jacques! <laughs> Jacques! 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 <laughs> His first name is Jacques. Okay. John is also the president of the drama club here at school. I like how he has chest hair. Next to him is PBG. He and John founded the Normal Boots Club together. PBG is one of the best soccer players on our team. We got Bingham. Then there's Gerard. People call him the completionist because he's obsessed with completing things. He has the biggest itty bitty kitty collection I've ever seen. I thought I was going to say biggest itty bitty, and I was like, uh, is that code? <laughs> Well, we like some itty bitty titties. Oh! 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 doesn't have that big of boobs. I know. Or Hannah. Next to him is Jared. Also known as Pro Jared. He's a model. You all ain't keeping it in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm voice acting here. Excuse you. <laughs> then there's Satchback, but everyone calls him Satch. He's like crazy smart. He looks so. You know what? He has a friend face. He does. I feel like I can tell my secrets. Those guys over there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in the new school newspaper called Continue. Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. <laughs> why does he look like he's giving, uh, why does he look like he's giving the guy a freaking massage? Oh, I was going to say, why does it look like he's imagining eating a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy on the end there is Shane. He knows more about video games than anyone. Ever. She exhaled a dreamy sha sigh into her mashed potatoes. <sighs> so, how would someone, you know, join the normal boots club? You don't choose the boots, Hannah. The boots choose you. You get a pair of boots thrown in your face one day. <laughs> what does that even mean? You have to be presented with the boots to be in the club. And they're, like, super selective. What are the boots? Like, is there just going to be, like, <laughs> leather boots thrown in my face? Should I be prepared? More like leather boobs. <laughs> the club has its boot statue. It's like the one on their patches. It's all gold-plated. It's their mascot, I guess. They do this weird initiation ritual with it. Do they have to walk a mile in their shoes? <laughs> I was going to say they jerk off on it. Oh. <laughs> they have to collectively jerk off into it and drink it. <laughs> it's like the J.O. crystal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gay if it's in an anime game. <laughs> it's not gay if we all chant no homo while doing it. Ritual? <laughs> I hear they fall <laughs> I hear they fill a room with the all the time. Uh, <laughs> I hear they fill a room with all of their dick milk. <laughs> 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 
I, I hear they fill a room with candles and wear these totally creepy robes during initiation. This year, two girls said she saw it once, and they were ta talking all chanting around the boots, and it sounded like they were talking backwards. But I don't believe her. And even if it's true, I don't care if they're a cult, because they're all really hot. Actual high school <laughs> so like, like, I know he's a dick, but he's attractive, so... I know he's a dick, but he has a great dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do they jerk off in it? <laughs> <laughs> we should just make a version of this game that's live action when you cosplay <laughs> Lana and I do my. And it's just I us having this conversation. Uh, should I tell you right now? I probably roll my pink wig that looks like Hannah's. <laughs> what, you okay. did? Yeah. Because I think I have a wig that could work for mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later. Our saga. Asiago Academy. Do they have a lot of friends? You know, this could be the very first puns of damage animated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tons of friends. I'd say they're the most popular kids in school. I mean, everyone in the school totally looks up to them. I bet they could get any girl in school, too. Or boy, for that matter. Oh, she was going to I'm really sad. They used to have a game. There was going to be, um, you could play this instead of Hana, he plays a guy. <gasps> except for that didn't reach their Kickstarter goal. Aww. Which I'm sad because I didn't learn about this game until after its Kickstarter was over. Because I was like, ah, I would have paid money to be gay. I, I could have done my manly voice. My manly voice. Oh, David, I'd have to do the manly voice. Oh, you would. Ah. <laughs> hey, are you going to eat your cake? I guess we can't have our cake. And eat it too. Or would you say the cake is a lie? I shook my head and pushed the plastic tray across the table to or, towards her. For the remainder of lunch... <laughs> <laughs> That's some um, eating pussy. <laughs> I feel like our videos are just becoming progressively more vulgar. We need to stop with our children. For the, <laughs> for the remainder of lunch, I listened to my talk about Jared through mouthfuls of half, of half like, dissolving well, coffee. Well, it's active. Like, oh my god. Like, I hear that one girl looked at him and had like a fucking six pack. And he... This is really funny because that's an actual <laughs> conversation later on the game. Oh, wait, she's it like, is? She's like, <laughs> and she's like, it's all six packs once I think my eyes melted. One girl saw Jared come out of the shower. She said Jared was ripped. Your friend's a punk ass bitch. <laughs> You're okay. your friend's a liar. Jared wouldn't weigh 10 pounds soaking wet. Back at the dorm, I sorted through the pile of textbooks the school left for me. My radio was playing a poppy tune, equal parts music, music to stag. Why are we listening to heavy metal? My fr f fervently. I got words are hard, guys. Words are very hard. I word good. <laughs> I word very good. I word very girl. Good. My fervently sc scribbled in a notebook at our desk, hunched over, with, uh, hunched over with a strikingly poor posture. She is me. <laughs> hey, my. Mm hmm. She didn't bother to look up. Am I supposed to have a textbook for History 309? Uh. She shuffled through the papers on her desk before producing a thick textbook. A demure man in a powered wig frowned at me from the cover. You want to get? What? Why is there doing the power wig on the cover? We're in Japan. We're learning Japanese history. Dude, I don't fucking know. Maybe it's Power like... wigs are only in Europe. Excuse me, creator. You have a historical inaccuracy here. Hey, but consider this. The school is filled with, like, all the rich, like, British and American kids so... who wanted to go to Japan to be anime. <laughs> it's the fucking Weeb School. It's Weeb Academy. It's Weeb Academy. Can we just title each episode a different name for the school? Like, first it's Asiago Academy. Okay. Now it's Weeaboo Academy. So we were me. Um. Yeah, this one. <sighs> I don't have that one. The school must have missed it. It's prejudice. They're prejudiced against me because I'm poor. <laughs> Can the you stop? The commoner's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually Orange High School Host Club. Don't know if you guys know that. That was my first thought, but I forgot about it before we <laughs> got there. Can you stop going on Instagram? Read your line. Oh, my it's not a line. You had a line. No, I didn't. It was my like... shrug and set the textbook back on her desk. They have a bunch at the library. You can just check one out. Where is the library? Why, well, you know that tour you told me to skip because it'd be cool, brah? Well, I'm fucking regretting it. Hashtag yellow. My riffle threw in a notebook and wrote something down. So I, we, I've literally been like one place on campus. And I just like, yeah, take the fucking map. Just go. <laughs> Sure, the page on hand me a crudely drawn map. Oh, okay. Well, 
I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> you're not you're not gonna come with me? Oh great, I'm alone. This place is big. I'm you're, small. You're, what if I get lost? You're gonna find a boy. <gasps> I'm gonna find a boy? A boy. Like, oh my god. The like an boys! Act, an actual boy. Like the boys are back. Back streets. <laughs> back. back. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> it took me at least twenty minutes to find the library. By the time I realized I was holding the map upside down, the sun was setting. <laughs> Thanks, my the library is much larger welcome. than I expected. The walls lined from floor to ceiling with books all sizes on rough wooden shelves. Intimidated, I headed for the front desk. I want to go to that school if they have that great library. A recognizably green and gray jacket was bent behind the counter. <gasps> We're about to be a boy. Bent over in what fashion? His ass was out. N- normal boots. That's, that's, is that a sex thing? N- normal boots, senpai. I briefly considered running away. Can I help you? Too late. Uh, yeah. The school forgot to give me one of my textbooks. I was told I can get here. Which one is it? The History 309 textbook? He stepped out. That. He stepped from behind the counter and motioned for me to follow. We dodged between the aisles in comfortable silence. He seemed friendly enough. I should say something. What was his name again? Shane? Shane? Gerard? Gerard? John? No, no, not John. Satch! Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my god! Huh? Oh, um, you work here? Ugh. Of course you worked here! Okay, you never saw Naruto, but in Naruto, (laughs) Sakura had, like, she had an inner voice... That was literally just like, like, Sakura would do something and her voice would be like, What the fuck are you doing, you dumb bitch? Like, mm-hmm. you want to fucking get in Sasuke's pants? Go over to him, say you fucking love him, get down on your knees! Do you mean me? And I just want that to be Hannah's, Hannah's inner voice. Okay. He chuckled, dimples appearing dimples. in his face. He has dimples, oh my god. And he's a nerd. And he's a smooth voice. And he's super smart. I thought he meant like books actually spoke to him. Yeah, I'm the librarian's assistant. It's my second year and I love it. I get to help people find books that speak to them. The books speak to me. His eyes are twinkled like a kid's on Christmas. Right now? <laughs> what are they saying, Satch? <laughs> They're telling me you're a punk ass bitch. I think my dog just yawned or vomited. She yawned. Okay. <laughs> Your book's right down there. He stopped at a row of thick, dusty books. Was this all history? It's your dream world. I don't want to fucking go there. I'm setting up semi the weeb school. And pulled out the book with the powder-wigged man I saw earlier. <laughs> Thanks. She's so precious. She's so cute. He waved his hand. It was nothing. Do you need help with anything else? Uh... I wanted to make a good first impression on Normal Boots Club, but I couldn't come up with anything. Same. No. Thanks. You're welcome. As we head back through the carnivorous library, my unease melted away. We weren't talking, Aww. but just being near him felt like being wrapped in a soft blanket. Aww. I resisted the urge to snuggle oh, to him. Oh, Hannah, you made it creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hannah, this is why you've managed to have one friend through all your 17 years. We near the front desk, stepping around the clump of staring students. As we passed, one of them shifted. Uh, <laughs> Something white flew past my face. A thick piece of triangular paper lay at my feet. I bent over and picked it up. It was surprisingly heavy. There was a quarter inside of it. If I was just a hair slower, it would have hit me in the face. The students snickered, and I recognized the boys that had made fun of my hair this morning among Aww. them. My heart dropped. I scanned my memory for anything I might have done to offend them, Aww. but came up with nothing. My hands started to shake. I hid it behind my back, trying to think of some way to defend myself. Why'd you do that? What do you mean? We're just messing around. Are you suggesting we did it on purpose? I faltered. There was nothing I could say. I was outnumbered. They would twist my words around no matter how straightforward I was. No, I... Come to the rescue, Sarge. One of the boys held his hands out for the paper. 
Fucking hell, Hannah. Stand up and beat their asses. Take the paper and beat them with it. Take the paper and smash their heads in. Rip it in half and say, do it again. I'll do that to your dick. (laughs) We're the Hannah Defense Squad. (laughs) I inch closer to give it to him. Anger hit myself for being so compliant. Okay, but consider this. When I cosplay Maya, I just put that on the jacket. It's just a t-shirt that says that. I wish I were... A gentle warmth closed around my hand and took the paper from me. Satch examined the pa- paper closely. Papper. Papper. <laughs> you realize you're supposed to read this. <laughs> I know. I see what the problem is. Your aim would be better if you cut the corners before you folded it. Satch is like, I don't have fucking time for this shit. You all are idiots. He placed the paper on the table. The boys looked at him in sheer awe. Be careful, though. You almost hit her, and that would have been awful. And then he would have had to call Mai, who would have killed you guys. My hands began to sweat as panic shifted through me, afraid of the response, but... Jeez, we're sorry. Be careful next time. Yeah, it was an accident. They apologized? Thanks. I appreciate it. He gave them a wide small smile and continued off down the aisle. I followed closely behind. My legs weak. Honey, fucking keep it in your pants. Holy shit. Don't tell me they stopped because of him. Simply because I was with him? Alright, we won't tell you. It's true, <laughs> we won't tell you. Honey, are you going to sleep with someone in normal boots just to get protection? Is this like the mob? Yeah. I wanted to thank him, but my heart was pounding so hard I knew my voice would shake. And I can't do a shaky voice, so... We reached... <sighs> Spit. Ugh. We reached... Do you want me to go back to being narrator? Oh, we're good. Okay. We reached the front counter and he scanned the history book. My lips trembled as I willed myself to say something, anything, to thank him. He tilted his head to the side. What books do you like to read? Oh, uh... Fiction? I thought it said friction, and I was like, that's smooth. <laughs> he <laughs> chuckled. I just finished a good book. I think it might be right up your alley if you don't mind me saying so. He reached out my counter, pulled up a thick green book, and pas- passed it to me. A man in black stood in the front, hugging a woman in royal robes. It's long, but it's one of my favorites. The Princess Betrothed. Have you ever read the Princess Bride book? No. I haven't. I kind of want to. I don't have time to read. Okay, well, I do. I read to I avoid responsibilities. Read, so. read the fucking Raven Cycle. We're, we're finishing it there, because then I'll get a 10 minute rant about the Raven okay, Cycle. Okay. I know things can be tough transferring to a new school. If you're ever worried, just read this. It'll transport you 100 miles away in a second. We are romancing him! <laughs> we are you romancing him! Voice. We are romancing Satch! Uh, okay, we might be romancing Satch. Tears stung in my eyes, so I ducked my head. Thank you, Satch, for more than just the books. For your dick, which apparently we might try to get. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I got your name. Look at how he's like uniquely. He's like, oh no, I didn't get her name. Just. My name is Hana Mizuno. I'm a transfer student. Well, it's nice to meet you, Hana. Let me know how you like the book. I will. That couldn't have gone better. Not only was Satch impossibly kind, but being around him felt easy. Refreshing. Don't be afraid if you guys hear a loud noise. I'll edit it out. Well, I'll probably edit this part out too then. Like being doused in the mist of a waterfall. Oh gosh, what was I thinking? What kind of waterfall? My cheeks felt hot. I left the library, two surprisingly heavy books under one arm. I sat on the bed, eager to get started on my new reading material, but... Maya was sitting at her desk, carving a pencil idly into the pages of a notebook. It's you, by the way. Every few <laughs> minutes, she released a long, drawn-out size, the lead of her paper, paper whined against the paper. I think her, I think <sighs> know what her pencil did. You guys know I fucked up. I lowered my book and took the bait. Is something wrong, Mai? <gasps> so I told you she's cute! I want to cosplay her! She allowed another dreary sigh. Uh, I hope Jared notices me this year. Oh, that's fucking manipulative. Does Jared know you like him? 
My world <gasps> around and fade in shock. What? I don't like Jared. Oh? I closed my book and sat outside, deciding to play along. Well, have you at least tried talking to him? <laughs> no. I mean, I have before. Why don't you try again? She bobbed her head from side to side, considering it like it never crossed her mind before. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Satisfied, pick my book back up. Have you ever had a boyfriend, Hana? What? Huh? Me? No, never. Really? Never? Never. I bet you 10,000 yen that you made a totally cute boy here and fall in love by the end of the school year. You're crazy. It's not like this is a dating sim game or anything. <laughs> I buried my face into my book, bearing wide from any further discussion. She fall in love by the end of the year? Me? It's fucking weeaboo high school. If I were a betting kind of girl, I'd take that, I'd take that bet. Okay, we finished that day. Do, do you want them the video yeah. here? Okay, we're on part two of a Saga Academy or Weeb School is done. Weeb School for weebs. Uh, check out our social medias and descriptions. Check out our Halo playthroughs. Those are fucking That's hilarious. That's fun. If you ever want to know what we're like when we're being exceptionally vulgar and brutal, check out Halo. Check out Halo as we go through this nice, calm dating sim. Yeah. Um, subscribe, all that jazz. Comment. Love you guys. Probably. Yes.